Hello everyone, hope everyone's doing great. Today we are going to be looking at the Pilot 78G, which is a pen that is currently still in production as the 78G Plus. However, the original 78G was a pen that was launched in the 1990s. Uh, so most likely looking at this pen, uh, I mean appearance wise, it's a very classical looking, uh, very traditional looking pen with gold trim and uh, black plastic finish or material. Um, however, most likely this pen was used by students, uh, people in classrooms who wanted to have a cheap uh, entry level fountain pen is my guess. Uh, before we go and look at the parts of the pen, I just wanted to compare and contrast this pen with uh, more, most likely its successor, which is the Pilot Metropolitan or the Cocoon in J Japanese markets. And the reason why I'm kind of comparing these two pens is because if you take a look at the section closely, and if you look at the nib, you can tell that they have a very similar design, right? In fact, I'm not... 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that you could interchange the nibs if you wanted to. Just flipping the, the nib around, you can take a look at the feet and you can see that it looks very, very similar. Obviously, one, one uh, nib is a fine, and the one that I'm gonna, the pen which I'm gonna look at today is actually a broad. So, Kind of re-looking at the pen exterior wise, you get uh, kind of a plain looking uh, finial or the top that has uh, injection molding. You can kind of see the inje injection molding, uh, kind of the, the tip down there. Same for the other side of the pen, you can see a, a hole which most likely that's where the, the plastic went uh, when they were molding this body. Right? So it's a definitely a plastic molded body and looking at the the rest of the cap you get a very nice clip which clips incidentally very very solidly um, you get a ring on the end it's actually a one piece uh, clip you get uh, two cap bands down here and it says Japan right so when I got this pen, um, I got this pen off uh, one of those popular auction sites. I wasn't 100% sure whether or not I received the 78G or the 78G Plus. And one of the surest signs, I think, of knowing whether or not you, you have one or the other is actually in the converter. You know, everything else, um, you know, probably indistinguishable indistinguishable in terms of whether or not you have a 78G or 78G plus. However, the 78G came with a Con B converter, right? So that point uh, gives a good indication that this is actually uh, 78G uh, G that I'm having the original one. So body wise, nothing much to talk about. It's a very tapered uh, short body. Uh, plastic threads as you saw just now and then you have the the body of the pen or the gripping area itself which is uh, also made of plastic and holding it in the hand in the hand it's a fairly short pen at about a 120 millimeters I would tend to use this pen uh, posted right when riding with it and when I do so it's fairly comfortable Balance-wise, because this is a cartridge, cartridge converter, it's pretty much balance bang on in the middle of the pen. Uh, and if you post it, as you would probably expect, it would be kind of back heavy because of the weight of the cap. Then you get to the nib, which again, I, I probably didn't mention just now compared to the Metropolitan. That one is a chrome or silver plated nib. This one is obviously uh, gold plated um, 
and it says there pilot super quality um, Japan and B for broad interesting thing about the 78G broad nibs uh, the, the pen actually comes uh, in fine medium and broad and in the past they used to come with a double broad but uh, it for my particular uh, nib which is a broad you can see very clearly that the nib doesn't have much tipping right and it doesn't look like a typical uh, broad nib in that um, it's it looks a little bit um, more like a italic nib to me uh, kind of like a half stub or italic and then when you see in the writing uh, what I'm going to do right now you can actually see the characteristics of this nib so because the nib doesn't have any tipping I guess the um, the nib will wear off pretty fast if you use this pen on an ongoing basis so um, the paper I'm using is Hurlitz X book and I'm going to be um, doing a little bit of writing using um, this is the Pilot 78G in broad and the ink is actually Pilot Hiroshi Zuku Sioro hope I'm pronouncing that correctly and because of the, the style of the nib, like I mentioned, it is a kind of a cursive italic nib. Um, you can actually write in a kind of a italic fashion, right? So, um, Sorry, out of the camera. So apologies for the not so nice looking italic writing, but uh, even without kind of writing in in a in an italic font, you can actually write and have a little bit of uh, line variation, nonetheless. Right. So just look writing in a typical uh, script. You can see the line variation that's produced. So when you want to get line variation, it's not just getting a flex pen or a pen, a pen that can flex. You can actually get this type of line vari variation um, with a italic nib or kind of a semi stuff nib, right? And one of the things which when I read uh, the forums and what they said was that um, this nib, it was very um, dry and it is reasonably dry based on you know how I, I see it however this dryness is not necessarily a bad thing right when you when you actually want uh, to write in italic uh, script you want the line to be represented very crisply uh, if you have a, a nib that's a bit too wet right you will actually have that uh, fuzziness at the the, the edges of the line right so 
So kind of concluding this uh, quick look at this pen, what do I think about this pen? I think this pen would appeal to people who appreciate the more traditional looking fountain pen. Uh, perhaps they actually use a similar style fountain pen in, in the past when they were in school and they wanted something similar. This pen would be a great choice. Like I mentioned earlier on, and I'm not sure whether I mentioned it, this pen is still available as the 78G Plus uh, pretty easily in shops. Um, at least here in Singapore, you can pick it up for about that 25 Singapore dollar mark. Uh, I bought this pen um, off the auctions, auction site for also around the same price at about the 25 dollar mark. So in terms of uh, representing value, I think uh, if you could pick up a Metropolitan for about the $25 mark, Metropolitan definitely has a better build quality since it's a um, alloy slash um, brass body. Um, overall, it's a much more sturdy pen, a, a much more better finished pen, but uh, this pen represents an alternative if, like I said, if you like the more traditional look uh, fountain pen. So this ends my quick look on the Pilot 78G. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, let me uh, know if you have a similar pen or if you've used a similar pen in the past. Again, you know, appreciate those people who are watching my channel uh, and appreciate your likes, comments, and you know, please subscribe if you like this video. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.